Dan Mama and Mini Mama are Fortnite players. They have a very good relationship and a lot of their YouTube channel is based off their relationship. Mostly it's just Diamond Mama antagonizing his little brother, which for me personally, I'm an older brother, we can all relate to that. They have a really good relationship and it's really good to see that video games brings them together in a lot of ways. What was cool about this time around when we designed the PCs is they kind of knew exactly what they wanted. We just kind of like talked it back and forth just to kind of get like uh, exactly what they told us they wanted. And we just kind of ran with it. Diamond Mambas, it's based off the color scheme and kind of like the graphic style for his. It has a more mature, modern, clean white look to it. Where Mini Mama just straight up, you know, he wants to have fun with this computer. He's really into the Naruto universe. So we designed the whole computer around his favorite character. For Diamond Mamba, a lot of it was simply just color scheme. He wanted red, he wanted black, he wanted white. We just designed it around those colors. The logos itself were just kind of inspired by some of his favorite brands. And then we just put on his channel logos on the side where he wanted so he can feel like it's his computer. Like he wanted it to be personalized based off his channel. He wanted it to feel like this is a Diamond Mamba computer. Mini Mamba, on the other hand, had a completely different take on it. He wanted, like I said, the Naruto universe, which Surprisingly, I know a lot of, personally. I didn't wear the headband, but I did get really into the Naruto universe, which I find, like, it was fun to build. He wanted it based off Madara, which I find very interesting to find Madara, the, like, your favorite character, considering he was the main villain. But I have to say, it was really fun to make a computer for. With Madara, the color scheme, we had did kind of like a clash between red and purple, which is the Sharingan and the Rinnegan. We put Madara's favorite weapon onto the back plate of the graphics card, which is this kind of like fan with a sickle. We put the Sharingan and the Rinnegan on the back panel and on the other side too, on the window. On the front panel, which I thought was kind of cool, is we put his name etched in Japanese script. Both computers are identical. Obviously, we didn't want to give Diamond more than Mini Mamba because his brothers, you know, if one has something better than the other one, you know you're going to fight and you're just going to be like, oh, you know, we got a better processor. So they're both computers were pretty identical. The processor is 9900K, pretty standard for a gaming computer. Graphics are 2080 Ti, perfect for Fortnite or whatever they want to do with it. Memory is 32 gigabytes of G-Skill Trent Z, RGB of course. We also like liquid cooled the processor with our Iron Tundra line, which is hard line. It's acrylic tubing. All of it is hand bent. We go through there, we measure it up, we bend each and every one so that it fits perfectly into the computer, nice and snug, but it also in a way that it still keeps its artistic style. The whole computer is just designed so that they can just flawlessly be able to create videos, game, whatever they want to do so that they just have no obstructions. Every computer here is special. We recognize that we're not building random computers like every single one we build is built specifically for a person and we treat it as such. When we get to work with creators like this as closely as we do, it's just fun. And we like to go above and beyond here. It's just fun being able to work closely with people and being able to hear their feedback and make something that they can get excited about.